Here is your prize. He drops a bullet in an evidence bag and puts it in your hand, your other hand. One not covered in blood and cerebral cortex. The injury list. Injury number four. Oval entry wound with an abrasion collar. Soft palate, lack of mouth. High velocity. Temporary cavity in brain tissue. Small exit wound on the occiput. How does that sound? Sounds about right. Opinion, fatal injury. Uh, great. And one last thing. We can now fill in injury number three. Ligament mark. Opinion non fatal. Post mortem. Treatment. He's proposing the bullet was the real cause of death and the hanging an attempt to conceal this fact. The ligament mark. Fractured to your brain. Yes, treatment. And the belt around his neck. The hanging. Even dragging him to the yard. All of it was done after this man was already dead. I have had my doubts since you showed me the tracks. Why did they carry him over? Why not march him and talk? There was no satisfying explanation. There have been other signs too. Small thing. We were right not to assign hanging as cause of death, as the perpetrators expected we would. No such luck for him. There is, of course, the very real possibility he was both shot and hanged. Um, maybe they just shot him while they put him out of his misery? It's possible, but it doesn't explain all the other dubious things. Lack of struggle, primarily. I may be intellectually sloppy, but I prefer one theory at a time. And this just smacks of treatment to me. me That's for us to find out. But this, it will make finding them just a little easier. Would anyone do this? To hide something. The real killer? The real motivation? What really happened here? You can hear oh, you really, really do. I am glad to hear you say that. Your room in the Whirling and Rise should come with a bathroom. Be sure to make use of it in the evening. Um. Yes, we should take a closer look at it. I am certain it has more to tell us. This little thing could reveal much about the weapon that shot him. We beg the corpse and carry him to the holding pen of my kinema. I can transport him to processing myself, but I will be gone for the rest of the day. Because Work on the case. Too. Tend to personal matters. Try not to do anything too dangerous. An officer needs backup in a neighborhood like this. I'll leave that choice to you. And one more thing. Great work, <laughs> detective. After you bag the corpse, Lieutenant Kitsuragi will leave the party until tomorrow morning. You can do side tasks and even the main case, but it might be more difficult. Plan his exit accordingly. I thought we decided to leave it to processing. Let's not turn this into some kind of circus. Damn it. This is turning into some sort of mega puzzle. Okay, so you can sneak out of your room naked after he's gone asleep. Let's bag him. Let's take him away. Um, do you kind of want those boots? Because running cap for perception raised. Yeah. What for one point? Yeah, I'll get rid of one point of this. Ace is high. I sort of want to hit every part with the information that I garnish, don't I? I want to lie to him about having done this task as well. You're back before the cargo container. Its draw has not lessened since you were last here. If anything, why are you even trying to open a door with rhetoric? Because what wasn't an option? Are you satisfied, detective? Yeah, that was stupid.
Mr. Dubois, every worker. A member of the board. That's right, Mr. Dubois. I see the socialist democratic fervor now burns in your heart, too. How can I help you today? Union is involved in local drug trade. You've got a lot of spirit clearing up the drug problem alongside this murder. I'll talk to the mayor and see if I can get you the key to the city, Harry. Now, let's talk real business. Actually, Rivershaw doesn't have a mayor. He refuses to discuss it further. It's probably just a small nuisance to him. Um. My dear Harry, there are literally millions of containers in this harbour. I couldn't possibly remember what's in all of them. Attach the Culverson Harry, cream. you smooth-talking son of a bitch. Time is a precious resource, and I don't have enough of it to count containers of you. Smooth talking. Maybe that's the way to go about opening the container. You should at least try convincing him. I open the door to your weasel stuff. Are you shitting me, Harry? Did you not really open the door and are now just telling me you did? You're a wild one, Harry. You didn't say it with nearly enough. Be it far from me to ever question your integrity, Harry, but you must have opened the wrong door. Next time, please be certain you get the right one. You see, Harry, it only benefits me if you open the right door. If you open the wrong door, then it makes things harder for me, because now you're scaring random people in my district. I don't want them to be scared. I want them to think, wow, I feel so safe. I like Everard. I only want weasels to be scared. The lieutenant shrugs. What? Bray, shady Bray. Oh, how could I forget your little side project? Well done, Harry. Well done. Don't even tell me what it was. But good job. I love it when workers take the initiative like this. So do I. That's one tasty brew. You should drink some right now, if you can. I'm going to leave now. See you soon. Oh, that didn't work. Tried to con him. Couldn't con him. Am I going to have to give over and do what he wants? I don't want to give over and do what he wants. Series gloves. Has not lessened since you were locked. It's got a drawer right in me. I don't know what's in that cargo container. Smell of that. Do you reckon I can get some money off ever I've been doing that as well? It has already given me quite a bit. Stand steady. The drawer is slight. There appears to be a road to go, but without an edge, a road to go. Isn't that marvelous? Just an ordinary wall. Nothing to see here. Yeah. Why? It's a wall. Why must we stop to look? Why must we stop to look at a wall? It looks like it wants you to climb the tree. I guess I'm going to mug over this guy.
There must be another way to the beauty. She wasn't that mean, was she? A sturdy metal door. Got the door. Stop banging on the door. I'm a snapping matter. Who I am. From within comes the faint sound of a broom sweeping. Ha! The police! Everyone knows the police don't come. No. I all go check the backyard door. There must be another entrance to the east. Okay. To the east. And that's the door I tried to get into. It wasn't it. There's be another way to the building. The door to the weasel's den, guarded by the lion head knocker. Both have seen better days. You try to be as silent as you can. It takes a finally, the door unlocks. The sound of the key turning still echoes in the yard. There might be. The important information. Can I? I want to have a look in there. Whoever lives here admires fair haired fancy hair as your big muscles. This is the flag of Repshaw, the suzerainty. What's this isn't sun? just one sun, but there are little suns dancing around the big sun. This is the sevenfold sun miracle. It's an optical atmospheric anomaly the first settlers saw. Happens in cold weather. Six small suns around the big one. This complex halo phenomena is how old Revachol got its flag. Mm-hmm. The tenant is an old-fashioned guy. Why? Old fashioned, he means very right wing. The flag doesn't seem to mind. It's just a colorful fabric with a sun sun onto it, like all feudal flags. In mild of walking sticks. A row of mugs sits on the shelf. Each one depicts a human figure. A dark-skinned woman grinning amidst mysterious symbols. A broad-shouldered man shoveling potatoes and others. Tap a the mugs. ring. Though cheerful, the images on the ceramic make you vaguely uncomfortable. There's something disdainful in the way the curves and lines of the bodies were drawn. You mean uncomfortable? Looks like the artist is celebrating diversity, but underneath... He's just making fun of these people. Sinner. Go slippery bastard. You ain't gonna change someone's mind by calling them a bastard. The okay. lieutenant picks up one of the mugs, then puts it back down with a look of disdain. I'm beginning to feel better about breaking into this man's apartment. Yes, your broken mug friend would feel very much at home here. The same humor, the same mocking lines. There's the missing tin soldier. Whoever lives here might have used the wording's container to dump his trash. And now they've drawn the ire of the Union. The plot thickens, as they say. An interesting little clue. Let's see where this goes. Clues have a way of magically connecting to other clues down the road. Perhaps you should break into apartments more often. Person who put the dead man's clothes in the trash? Who knows? I'm not expecting too much from this clothes in the trash lead either way. It might turn out to be some random local matter, but still, a nice coincidence. You could ask Everard who this person is once you're done here.
Which direction am I traveling? I mean, while I'm here, we have choice. Yes, I could. Yeah, for a bit of an update. Back. Good. What can I help you with? Yes, my eyes on the harbor have sent word to that effect. What have you discovered? It doesn't really matter, and I do apologize for the surveillance. Wild Pines can't afford to be blind at a time like this. One of the tall buildings overlooking the roundabout, most likely. That would give them a read on the entire quarter. In any case, it's a relief to know someone has looked into it. If I may ask, will there be an official investigation? I assume you discovered there is an operation. If there is an investigation, it will be part of an ongoing operation, subject to confidentiality. I am sure you understand. Of course, detectives. In any sure. case, you've held up your end of our arrangement. I trust you with the rest. Now it's my turn. I wouldn't normally break protocol like this, but the situation demands it. If you don't solve this murder, I'm afraid we may have a bloodbath on our hands. Yes, I'm afraid this strike may descend into a small-scale civil war, with possible consequences for all of Rivershall West. I miss your sharing, man. This is also the RCS worst case scenario. Then we're on the same page, as grim as it may be. Me again. I was lynching the strike. I have an indirect role to play, I'm sad to say. My employer experienced a momentary lapse of faith in me. In that moment, they elected to deploy a private military contractor as an insurance measure. They called it my security detail. Absolutely not. These mercenaries are muscle, pure and simple. They are meant to intimidate the Union into surrendering. Who are they? Crenell, an Oranese military company. As far as I know, three arrived in Martinez. They report to me sporadically, but they do not answer to me. To be frank, our relationship is deteriorating. They wear ceramic armor, have semi-automatic weapons and years of combat experience. They also have trauma and stressor disorder and no idea how to conduct themselves in an urban civilian environment. So, what happened? The story is, one of them, the colonel, I don't know his real name, sexually assaulted a local woman while he was drunk and separated from his unit. This allows some of the more militant union members to subdue him. He was taken out behind the whirling in rats and lynched last Sunday night. Nothing. Mr. Clare refuses to let me into the harbor I have not been able to discuss this matter with anyone there. The remaining two Cronell contractors carry out their orders for now. It's no. a smokescreen. In secret, they are conducting an independent military tribunal into the lynching. Once this investigation is concluded, executions will follow. What is the nature of this so-called investigation? Whether to execute one, some, or all of the Union militants. It is the Union who strung him from that tree. My hope is that you provide a single concrete suspect before Cronell indiscriminately pick theirs. Simply put, if you don't pin this on someone good and do it fast, they will identify and execute everyone present at the lynching. This in turn will force the Union to respond. The debarder have over 2,000 men. It will be a thousand to one. Have you ever seen a hornet invade a beehive, Lieutenant? Back. The Serais giant hornet, the world's second largest insect, can kill 40 honeybees a minute, while a group of 30 can decimate an entire hive of 20,000 bees in less than four hours. That's These impressive. men work in tandem using semi and fully automatic firearms. Their armor is virtually impenetrable to muzzle loaded weapons, even yours. Most Union workers don't have guns at all. The muzzle loaders need to be reloaded after every one or two shots. The automatics every one or two minutes. As I said, a bloodbath. And see, it happened. Too many things for it had to go wrong first. Really. 
too many things have already gone wrong. Nameless, badgeless, detective of the citizens' militia. All we can do is keep that which is not from following suit. One single concrete suspect delivered into civil court, and I may be able to defuse this situation. Well, what can you tell me about crime? Not much. Their public resume is relatively good, as far as private military contractors go. I believe they were once called downwards. Yeah. They boast a long list of clients, Saint-Baptiste, Welchman. Meaning they are used to operate in war zones. Yes. All the good conflict corridors, Suplamundi, Yesus, the Seminese Islands, countries that don't have a good record reporting atrocious militia. Sadly, no. Before this happened, I had little interest in them. Now that I do, I don't have the resources. <laughs>